This isn't stealth marketing. This is shameless marketing. Hey guys, why do I fucking put you on a stick and just start roasting your ass and just start eating that shit? Would you like that? Some of you would like that shit. You need some fucking help. You look pale. Go get a burger. It's time to double down on our anime. You're dirt to me. You're disgusting. <laughs> You're fucking sick. You're nothing. You're dirt. Fuck you. Welcome back to Shit Tubes, everybody. Since we talked about Forever World last episode, it's only right to create a fourth one based around the formerly closeted homosexual weeaboo brother of Justin Bieber. In a community as huge and somewhat starved for attention as the anime community, lies in the darkest depths of the internet archives a young gay white boy known as Double Four Anime, whose name, according to people like Tim, aka Forever World, is Richard Wallace. So in this episode, we're going to go over the reasons why this young, gay, bitch boy, libtard, logic following fuck is the purest form of cancer the anime community has to offer, as a content creator at least. I'm a resource on the cost stutter, stutter. In my backyard, I have fun with the gutter. My favorite food is bread and butter. It's so beautiful. How butterflies flutter. To make this description as detailed as possible, I'd have to say that Double is essentially the kind of white kid who gets told that he can't have what he wants. So in return, he acts out and begins to lash out like a lunatic. The more you deny him attention, the closer and closer his rants come to becoming a borderline UC Berkeley one-man riot. Why don't I fucking take a knife and just start fucking cutting at your liver and start eating that shit? Would you like that? No, you wouldn't fucking like that. And you wouldn't like it if you got a terminal illness and everybody started fucking, you know, attacking you for that shit or making jokes about that shit. You would not like that shit. The more I look upon this pale-skinned freak, the more I notice how pathetically lonely he probably is. He supposedly had a prior breakup with a boyfriend, and he showed what he calls battle scars. And I didn't even cry right now, but I want to, man. I took a battle scar. It was just fucking blitz. See that shit? Battle scars, man. How much you want to bet that said lover was his potentially redneck father who beat the shit out of him after he found out that Double Four Anime likes anime? It's like he can't live without begging for attention, and by begging I mean screaming threats of destroying someone's channel, and bordering on an active threat of cutting someone's liver out. If you ever find the time, do yourself a favor and check out this video of mine where I initially roasted him when he lost his shit over a simple Filthy Frank parody. I'm a resource and a cost stu stu stutter. In my backyard, I have fun with the gutter. My favorite food is bread and butter. It's so beautiful. How butterflies flutter. Now, if there's one thing I can say for sure about this white almond milk colored fuck, is that he doesn't seem to be very consistent in his opinions. One moment he's calling a guy called Uncle Min a child molester and saying he's a horrible person. They've been making videos disgusting, racist homophobic, highly offensive videos. And by the way, that Uncle Mean Child Molester video, I downloaded it, but I also flagged it, so if you try to search for it, you won't find it. Then later, he's claiming that male child rape victims are ungrateful to the quote, end quote, beautiful women that raped them. Where was I when these situations happened, man? Like, where was I? These, these ungrateful people that supposedly get raped in school by these hot ass female teachers. You ever hear the story and then you see the picture and it's like, are you kidding me? Like, wh what's wrong with you? And it's like, I just don't get it. Like, where was I? Where were we? It's one thing to be a degenerate, but to be a degenerate who contradicts himself in the most self-righteous and pathetic of ways, that's like Hillary Clinton level bullshit. Well, actually, I have been very consistent over the course of my entire life. I have always fought for the same values and principles. I believe that marriage is not just a bond, but a sacred bond between a man and a woman. I have uh, not uh, supported same-sex marriage. He's such a weeaboo that he has no issue with people fapping the lollies and wanting to fuck them as long as they don't touch real kids. What are my thoughts on the whole lonely Shota thing? I mean, I personally, I'm not a big fan of censoring things. I'm not a big fan of censoring people. Like, if you're into something and it doesn't really affect anybody, I don't, I don't see why it's really wrong. Which I agree. Do that if it makes you happy without taking away someone else's happiness, you know, by touching kids. But don't go and then hate on someone doing Boruto and Hinata incest hentai as if one is worse than the other, and you're some kind of moral guru to judge. At the end of the day, no matter how many filthy konekos, 
Petals and Wendy's or nasty and sweaty Goku and Bardock doujins you jerk your dick to, do not fucking go to Double Four Anime for advice on how to handle such a fetish. I'm a resource on the cost stutter, stutter. In my backyard, I have fun with the gutter. My favorite food is bread and butter. It's so beautiful how butterflies flutter. Among the amount of what others call clickbait cancer on YouTube, Double Four Anime is matched by no single YouTuber on YouTube, save for maybe Soul Animation and Stomedy. Perhaps even surpassed by Stomedy. I myself have no issues with clickbait, because clickbait is natural. Even a YouTuber like Quaman understands this. I'm sorry guys, kids turn off if you don't want to watch this. Because it pisses me off and I'm gonna fucking admit this shit, alright? Every fucking one of us is a clickbaiter. Every 100 fucking percent of us is a clickbaiter. You know why? Because we're gonna title our videos, we're gonna put thumbnails, we're gonna tag our videos, we're gonna make discussions that we know people wanna fucking watch. And there's a difference between people who clickbait and people like Double Four who constantly do what I call titbait. Being that men are a very, very large amount of the people on YouTube, many of them are straight. It's quite easy to see how Double finds his views and such when he's constantly slapping anime jugs all over the thumbnails of his videos, as well as titbaiting the absolute ever-living fuck out of the minds of young impressionable boys ranging from 14 to their early 20s. He tends to title his videos in the most god-awful way. Almost all of his videos are titled with either OMFG, a variant of it, or something in all caps that sounds like a squealing lesbian harpy schoolgirl just met her only male crush in the form of her favorite rock star. This young white lesbian also tends to put thumbnails and titles that talk like they're confirmed news of an anime, such as Gohan gets new transformation and surpasses Goku with an obviously fake Super Saiyan White transformed Gohan. The catcher? There is no Super Saiyan White unless you count Super Saiyan Blue Kaioken times 10 Goku. All in all, Double Four Anime is the purest form of cancer in the anime community, and he needs to take a shit, take a pill, and lay down. Maybe smoke some weed. Now be sure to like, comment, subscribe, share, and maybe donate to my Patreon if you like what you saw. I may not always be able to do a shit tube video, but I do videos even if it's not this specific kind. I'm gonna kill